Light on my feet. If we could at least make a run for it. Again. I have something to ask. You need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Sylvanas be with you. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Room for more. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. She will. She. She. <sighs> hey, 
Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin! Our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, True Soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. That fellow had a tadpole in his head, and they consider him blessed? Chosen? What madness is this? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. I don't know any druids. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, madam. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, Trusso, we may stand a chance. It spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value. Something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. Bear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Open up. That stench. That owlbear prey. Go ahead. I'm listening. Quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. 
self-mate. It's a splinter. I've gutted bigger threats than you with worse. from you to his dead mother. Wake, hungry. A single strike will end his suffering. Hungry, food. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. The cub has a fighting chance now. That 
We've just prolonged its misery. That's good, right? Oblivious to your presence, the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother. What path lies before me? Something good here, I hope. I wish I had a bag of holding. An owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. <laughs> Looks like a shrine to Saluna. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Mm. I applaud your taste. Ow! Protective magic. Should have known. Breathing, despite everything. Moving ahead. Very well. It... It got her. It got Bly, too. What do I do now? All right. I'll go. Thanks. Tell me, Lazo. You say we might be purified at your crash. What does that mean exactly? Augusta will affix the Zaphis, the purifier, to our heads. Its magic will mm. boil the parasite in an instant. Let's have a look. Strange. It looks healthy. A dead boar. But it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. It's been completely drained of blood. Dead goblins? Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Mm. 
What's inside? That Zathisk you mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Millar, our most gifted artisans. I'm sworn to say no more. Nothing. Moonhaven. Tell me. Well, well, boys. Looks like we got ourselves a trespasser. Wait. A drow. In the sun. Stand down. This one's got a touch of the absolute about her. Apologies, your lordship. Hard making you out from a distance. Oh, uh, of course. Come and go as you like. Move it, lads! And show some respect. Should like it, will it? Game for service, children. And you got nothing to show me but your own ass. Your sweet like honey. Must you? This innate pains me. Mm -hmm. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Nice log fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger. Be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute.
I've no use for the Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold, we check brand, good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken. Indeed. Ogre, kill everyone around. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. What have we got here? Oh, stop this thing! The goblin seems unsure whether to bow to you or attack. What, what do you want? Oh, I, I mean, uh, what do you need?
Um, you are blessed, ain't ya? A true soul? The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Um, p -p pardon madam, I didn't mean to doubt you. I know my place. Well, well that, that's that. We'll be on our way. Do as you like with the pipsqueak. The goblins slink backwards, afraid to take their eyes off you. Uh, ask the pipsqueak on the spinny tower. We're out of here. All right, then. Fresh meat. Scared meat. Yes. What are you waiting for? Cut me loose! Free me and find out! Oh, Maga Kamara. There's pustulant thugs! Well, get on with it. I'm a deep gnome, you're a drow. You helped me, now you plan to enslave me. Watch then! Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack. If you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm.
quite forward with your compliments earlier. <laughs> Coming through.
force is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison. And you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact. Pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? I think that was the Absolute speaking to us. But we managed to shield ourselves. We should keep moving. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. You worship Shah? By me. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Gladly. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin. The true soul had led you collide.
a meatier creature than any I've spied! Oh, Balderdash! Oi, stranger! You make him with my pigeon. He's talking stupid now. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, um, I am... Draw Raxlin, um, um, Tumptuous, uh, draw Raxlin, uh, um. You broke him! Wait, wait, draw Raxlin, we pay, we... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Come on! Of course, man. My name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes. Not for me. Welcome, your greatness. I've got some good stuff if you're looking to buy.
been a pleasure, your greatness. from goblins, clear. I doubt these are goblins. Let's hope we find them in one piece. Bloody racket! Oh, come on. Ah, glad you've a moment for me. My, um, predicament? become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume. Right now. We've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. Dangerous. Might be all pain. No less bound to wake return. up again to continue its that ravages. Real fun. <laughs> Such is the nature of all monsters. Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Bloody racket! Oh, come on now! They're just having My a lady, bit of fun. I oh, bowed. So much bowed. fun that those thieves almost got past! We got them though, eh? And once the whelps start singing. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work! State your business. Now. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. You one of those moonrise types, then? Your kind usually don't deal with Boss Ragslin and Priestess Gut. Guessing you're after Mimfara. Could be her blood by the looks of you. <laughs> Audience is right. She's an uppity one and no mistake, but she knows her business. 
She's in telling the war chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big un, I hear. Bloody racket. Ah. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. I wasn't intending to. <laughs> Bothering my pigeon, he's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own. The mark glows. But you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Why don't ya? And don't let the lad snatch him up. No tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Up and ready. 
You have already failed me once. And now you dare to question me. I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your ladyship. That's Honest, why I know it. Let's not do anything suspicious like while it's watching. Meaningless wealth. End the latter to save the former. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be, sister. Are you here to join my hunt? Interesting. What do you know of this druid? Orders? From whom? This is my command. And if you were sent here, I would have been told to expect you. Here are your new orders. The druid makes his home in a nearby sanctuary where his followers worship a false god. I intend to find it and destroy it. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You feel Shadow Heart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks, it's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. The cultists cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Wears thin, true soul. The hunt must begin. Destroying it will demonstrate our power. Soon, all false gods will cower before the Absolute.
these mortals be. Another day, another fight. <laughs> Thank you. 
Time to press ahead. I should speak up. Sounds like they captured themselves a bar. Oh, with fragulous crown and with scepter of the in Welcome, your greatness. I've got some good stuff if you're looking to buy. Been a pleasure, your greatness.
Your greatness. Something catch your eye. Been a pleasure, your greatness. magic to soothe is disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. We know, eh? Once the well start singing, we'll know who sent them. Oh, thank you. We will pay him a visit in oh, return. A metaphorical now demon. I the point out, but no less dangerous. <laughs> and no less bound to wait. Oh, sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with my late... Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. This area is off limits. Perhaps the guard can be convinced otherwise. I see them better when you nick it out of them. I have to find out them before too late. I doubt these goblins care much for... Let's see if find them in one piece. Oh, ah, my... I've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. Just those keys almost got what off. I sang. We go. A metaphorical demon. My well sincerely, though. Singing. We'll know who sent them. I might be will pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real fun. <laughs> We're doing the absolute sw stay The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. You're a lithid power. You want you're getting your after me far she to Luna. Let's do what we have to do. Good. I was in my pigeon is mine. What's it to ya? The, the mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illicit power is beyond reach until you rest.
Take him for a joke, why don't you? Bring him. Here's the... I guarantee the story of your daring... Re we mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship. Smash it! I'll slip away. Give it that. What are they delaying for? Can't we just swarm the forest? Drow wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out. Seen this mess? Flaming Fist Thuggo took a chunk out of me arm. That last dim we it. They were guarding some uppity noble and his friends. <laughs> Not very well, mind. Your drow pals carried him off, left the real spoils to us. Till we're out of sight, that is. Arrested for assault. Judging by the look on this guard's face, you're getting off lightly. We go again. Torment. 
We've saved me.
moving. My name be known. Do. Ain't exactly fighting. I tell you, the scrying eye was looking at me all strange. Right. What would some drow wizard in Moonrise want to look at you for? Certainly you won't be because he appears. How about I'll stop following you, eh? How'd you like that? Oh, Your scouting party has not returned. And half of the sorry and inside the sheet to the chamber one of those that her heart is more generous than mine join my hunt fairy and oh this tribe you will join my hunt interesting what do you know of this druid What do you know of this druid? If you were sent here to hunt him, perhaps you can help me. The druid makes his home in a nearby sanctuary where his followers worship a false god. I intend to find it and destroy it. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is earned of the weapon. 
You feel shadow her mind. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Patience wears thin, true soul. The hunt must begin. Destroying it will demonstrate our power. Soon, all false gods. Yes. And when we destroy the trappings of this false god, the Absolute will reward us with such power. One. We captured a human who knows exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. True souls are infected The village like to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that oh, way. They think but they scouts they said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. The artifact. At least give me a sword! We want you dead! We treat the spiders real kind, ma'am! Fade them the plumpest prisoners. Get down there and stop complaining. Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Good on you. Don't matter to me if it's Loaf or my boy McGlubbyet. It's about tradition. This upstart everyone's praising is gonna trample all over our gods and our faith. Makes me sick. McGlubbyet's looked out for me since I was knee high to a walk pup. Bollocks to this absolute, I say, and bollocks to you and all. Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. Slice up their fingers and fry them for supper. Mm, I just love a good finger fry. Kate, move. Shugan and Shukok! 
The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Another drow true soul. As if there weren't enough of you. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Damn right. I'm gonna make this carcass talk. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Then take it. Absolute knows I'm not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. How many raiders do we have? Plenty of lashes, loads of hunters, and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. Exactly These pariahs, the they're prepared from. to fight for the absolute. What they do ain't exactly fighting. All they gotta do is light up a powder and burn. Then they're prepared to die for the absolute. Get yeah, your eye! Or at least give me a sword! We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Not dead any rowdy. Get down there and stop complaining! Ah! Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise! You know, McGlubby. Trying to interrupt my. God of this upstart everyone's praising is gonna trample all day. The great abs, it's a load of sight. Talking to you, ain't I? I just don't believe in all this togetherness and chumminess. Ain't natural. It won't last. They'll be tearing into each other soon enough. Sodom all. I'll wait it out in here, praying to a real god. Shh. 
who God I am. The hawk you taste the visions, the elves. And he does you ever talk to a dead squid? Da we find who killed the, you the hideous corpse rises. Ted the creature responds. Not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod. Devoid of flesh. Only darkness. Damn it. I saw it too. And it tells me nothing! Ragslin frowns at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches. Null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. You're kidding me. Very helpful, squid. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. Visions consume you once more. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high. Control panels melting. Flesh pods spilled open. Keep them. Wait! Ragslin pierces your mind, prodding for truth. You, your no true soul. collapses. Silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> that damned trow was right. Can't let her get all that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Say that again. Cause I know I didn't just hear you refuse the absolute. I don't need your lip. Boys, crush her!
Hmm. Praise is ever bleeding axe. You know, McGlubby. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a good of this upstart everyone's praising. It's a load of sight. It won't last. Sod of. How much farther can I go? Honor your servants! Toosh! 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 He doesn't. You ever talk to a dead? We find who. You. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Rack the curtain. I saw it too. Get useless. Suspicion floods Rexon's mind. Your brain and not use the. Your attack. Rip. She, she's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell. Praise the absolute. If I were you, I doubt true soul Minthara has much patience left. Oh, sit at it. Your drink from her barrels. You will rain! Over with. Since you just damaged something rather personal. Looking ahead, I have to keep going. Seems the owner of that item was rather a...
Anything of use? Listen! The Absolute honors you and slays her enemies! She'll fertilize the fields with the dead! If not over, Rivers then through. And streams will flow with their blood! These pariahs, they're prepared to fight for the Absolute. What they do ain't exactly fighting. All they gotta do is light up their powder and burn. Then they're prepared to die for the absolute. <laughs> Smells like burnt flesh in here. Give you peace, you know. But no, you gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Oh, a drow. I, I, I didn't see you there. Please, uh, if you wanna have a try. Oh, oh, of course. There's weapons in the fire if you want them. Uh, uh, we'll leave you to it. Come, Grush. Let's go. I don't think I've got the stomach for this. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Oh, forget about him. There'll be more of them soon. Please, let me out. There's no reason for this.
the lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Elsin, I, I, I don't know. He changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. The, the grove, to the east. They wanted to know where we came from. They'll, they'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. We... Uh, I was with a group of adventurers. We came here for an artifact. It's called the, the Night Song. We tried to sneak past the goblins, but they ambushed us. I didn't think a pack of goblins could be so... So efficient. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakin would reward us if we found it. He should be here somewhere. He said there was a hidden passage underneath the temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but when we arrived, I'm not sure. All I know is there's a passageway to the Night Song. Brian had instructions, but... The, the goblins got him. They... They said they'd eat him. I... I have to go. I have to get out of here. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah. Are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Please. The things they do to that man... So crude and primitive. I was invited to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Exactly. Pain is an intimate thing. It should be delivered with a loving and measured hand. But trying to discuss such subtleties with these creatures is simply... Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate 
this pain. Well, the Maiden of Pain, Loviata, teaches us that pain is a most powerful and sacred sensation. And should our pain delight her, should we embrace such a gift, she will grant her most sacred of blessings. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Simply face the wall and we can begin. Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. Yes, this will do nicely. <laughs> the pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Entirely, priest. I might have use for her yet. <laughs> wonderful! Just wonderful! Wonderful. You want more? I'll give it to you. Not the worst technique, priest. Good wrist movement. Lots of enthusiasm. <laughs> That's it! Welcome the pain. Let it become part of you. <laughs> I hope that's a promise, dear one. <laughs> Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Ah. <sighs> As did I, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Personal note. Thank you. That was positively divine. Your world has strange customs. Don't group me. Grash, I need True. to see that again. You wouldn't have the grip. Ask him if you can do the penance thing too. What? Get in there. She might know.
that the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today. So I'm feeling generous. Aye, so you have. Folk up here like to quiver over... It's just business. If there was money in being good, the Zentarim would be pure as paladins. By it, your ladyship. Honest, I didn't. Life, report, and make it quick. Organizing these creatures tests my patience. They are flocking to the absolute. In sufficient numbers, they are an effective force, expendable and willing. me again. I will deal with those responsible later. Did he tell you where his friends are hiding before he fled? Perhaps. But your thoughts are troubled. Show me everything you have seen. Her mind enters yours, a splinter of ice piercing your memories. Tiefling faces flicker into view as she attempts to learn the grove's location. You must to clear it. The village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere.
must keep going. Your most excellent drowners. What, what do you think of these breeches? <laughs> Could be a new uniform. Dwarf, we're cooking. It's good meat if you can get it. Better than bloody chicken, anyhow. Shame he was as poor as a chicken. Nothing in his pants except a couple of coins and some lousy poem. Of course, I'm thinking of selling it. Reckon it's worth anything, boss. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Use it as bog roll, then. I'll get back to tending the meat.
You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit, maybe. An efficient path. You've been caught trespassing. Again. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be... Got to keep moving. You've been seen re-entering a forbidden... Quickly, then. Simple task. Set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Let's get going. Never a dull moment. Minor hindrance. Everything. Seems like a good moment to talk. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order.
to fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Slow down. What's in here? I'll take that.
over there. I don't think I'll fit through there. No one stopped me yet. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Wonder if the gods are watching me.